Good morning, everyone. It's happy Monday time. <laughs> yeah, right, is there such a thing? So I uh, wanted to let you guys know uh, a couple of tips, if you will, for eating a few uh, types of foods. So um, even though I'm now four months into having my immediate dentures, I didn't have steak until Saturday. Um, I've had opportunities to have it before, but I ate different meats. And I noticed with meat, you know, I had, uh, what was it, like a week or two ago, I went out and I had ribs. Oh, the sun is coming out over here, so sorry. It's kind of cloudy out a little bit, but the sun is also out too. Um, so the lighting is horrible, sorry. Once I turn, it should get better. Anyways, um, I had ribs and that to me was very easy but I also had um, a couple weeks ago a beef brisket and uh, that was a little tougher meat I mean don't get me wrong it was very good but again I think meat itself is a little tougher than I eat a lot of chicken and salmon you know typically or I eat like ground turkey I don't eat ground beef you know anyway so Saturday my fiance bought a brand new Toyota. Uh, he unfortunately was rear-ended the Monday or Tuesday before last week. Um, so he had to buy a new new vehicle. He had just paid off his um, uh, Nissan oh, six months ago. Oh man, he's so irritated. Anyway, so we went out for dinner to celebrate. Well, at a restaurant called, um, gosh, what's it called? Um, Stonewood Grill, I live in Florida, they have a steak salad and I love salad so that's my favorite to get and it comes with um, I, I don't remember what the cut of beef is I typically when I eat steak I eat filet mignon I don't eat it very often um, but when I do eat it I eat filet mignon I like it medium rare <laughs> I say I want it moving anyway so okay so with this salad the steak isn't whole, it's in strips because it's on the salad. I found that cutting up, it took me kind of a long time to eat it, but that's I'm a slow eater anyways. It's actually healthier to eat slower than to wolf it down. Uh, so what I found is cutting up the steak into very small pieces. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> like um, a typical bite for a person, cut that in half. And then of course, chew, um, put one piece on this side and one piece on that side and chew at the same time. I tried uh, taking a bite with, you know, doing the two bites at the same time, but a little bit bigger of a piece. And I found that I had to, it took me longer to chew and, and I I didn't want my bottom denture to come loose while I was eating. That that was my goal. Um, so that's fat, that was my tip for eating steak. Bottom line, cut it or any kind of meat let's just say any kind of meat like that steak um, you know uh, well ribs are supposed to be very very tender but any kind of cut of beef that um, is real thick I would suggest doing small bites now I hear a lot of people have issues eating salad and I, I totally understand I always have to go to the bathroom after and do a leaf check <laughs> but I personally like the mixed green salad uh, I'm not an iceberg person because there's really no nutritional value in the iceberg I mean it's water but if I'm gonna eat salad I want I want the benefits of the dark leafy green vegetables or dark leafy green lettuce so um, with the mixed um, uh, salad you know you have some lettuce that's real curly and, and um, all that so it'll get caught up especially in the top uh, you know top or bottom in the back so that's not a problem but what I found again eating my salad uh, the other day was avoid the big white pieces there's those are kind of bitter anyway so I I hate them anyways but think about when you eat romaine lettuce you know how down towards the bottom of the stalk it's it gets lighter in color and that's really hard well that will knock your bottom denture loose I mean if you're struggling with that if you're not then whatever don't worry about it but I'm talking about people who are in their immediate dentures who have 
you know, issues with the bottom denture coming loose. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so what I found is I didn't have any issues, zero, with eating the salad as long as I stayed away from the hard, um, you know, hard crunchy pieces that were closer to the stalk. So again, I don't like those anyways. Um, so I just pushed those off to the side. Um, let's see, I still eat the grapes, but uh, my lunch bag is here, but I, I'm driving, obviously. Um, the grapes I've been getting have been bigger than when I showed you guys on my last video, but I still eat them two at a time, one on each side. That's the only way I can eat grapes, the only way. Um, so I've just been trying to learn, you know, how to eat the bigger grapes, because that's all that there's available sometimes. Um, bananas, not a problem, you know, I have to bite into those, not a problem. Um, but yeah, the chewing on both sides is really key because that will avoid you from having any, any kind of rocking with that bottom denture. I don't have any issues, in, I don't want to say never, but I don't, it's rare for me to have any issues with the top. Um, sometimes water can get up in there and you can kind of feel it, but as far as food goes, nope, I'm good. Um, bread. Bread, I've heard, is a problem for a lot of people. Um, I, some of you might know, but I run, um, for fun, <laughs> I guess. But, uh, so when I'm going out for my long run on the weekend, like yesterday I did 13.1 miles, which is the distance I need to run for my half marathon. So I'm so excited because that's my first time running 13.1 miles. I'm, I'm just so excited. Anyway, so my point is, uh, when I go out for these long runs, I need to eat something with carbohydrates and sugar. Funny, right? Normally I, I avoid those things, but I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, peanut butter is tough, you know, for people with dentures because of the whole top plate thing. I have to say, I really don't have a problem with it. Um, you know, and I'm by myself when I'm eating this, I'm just walking up the road to go up to the sidewalk. So if there is a piece that gets stuck on the top, Honestly, just being honest, I just take my finger because it's clean and I just, you know, stick it up there and just knock it off real quick. No one cares. Um, but having it, I would recommend having a glass of water on hand, you know. So, um, but no, bread doesn't do anything for me. Although, when I, I don't eat bread often, but sometimes I'll get the roll from Panera Bread. And I do have a problem with that. It's really good bread, don't get me wrong. Especially if you have soup or something, that's really, really good. But the outside, I can't do it. I can't, and I eat Panera like once a week. Uh, I just, I can't. It, it is so hard on the outside and it knocks my bottom denture loose every time, every time. So I just eat the inside of the bread. So my moral of the story for bread would be, Choose a bread that, uh, you know, isn't too soft. Like white bread is typically soft, the softest. I eat nature's own honey wheat. Um, my kids have loved that for years. Um, my son eats a turkey sandwich every day. So does my fiance I make him turkey sandwiches every day. But, um, so the wheat bread is a little bit more denser. So that's all I have for food. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, rice still, nah. It's it gets stuck down on the bottom, but I mean, you just go to the bathroom after, no big deal. So um, that's that. Yeah, that's all I have for food. So if you guys want to share in the comments, you know what foods really are difficult for you. Like if you had to name one or two things, what would be the toughest one? For me, I'm gonna say that darn um, Panera Bread, which again, it's probably not a bad thing because then it, it's, you know, uh, sways me away from getting the bread. Uh, so bread for me, or the Panera hard, you know, the hard, crunchy on the outside bread is my toughest. But other than that, I don't, I don't have an issue. Oh, I don't like eating oatmeal either. I don't like eating oatmeal with my with my dentures in. I eat it before I put them in. <laughs> so, but yeah, if you guys want to uh, tell me what your hardest food is, maybe we can relate. Or if you have tr 
tricks or tips for eating some of these foods I've mentioned or if you see somebody else has mentioned something and you have um, some helpful hints I read all the comments and I, I greatly appreciate all you guys I I really uh, I can't express how happy and thankful I am for all the support on here you guys make it much better you know it's like we're going through this together and uh, you know so all right well I hope you guys have a great day and uh, my next video uh, I have some um, information about being careful with the, um, the whitening the um, stain away uh, you got to be real careful with that so I want to show you guys what I mean though so all right have a great day